There is a push from City Hall to try to stop aggressive panhandling that seems to be increasing at several major intersections all around Jacksonville. News 4 Jax has been documenting this panhandling surge since last year. Now, a city councilman has brought together other city and state leaders in hopes of doing something about it. News 4 Jax reporter Scott Johnson is joining us live from Mandarin, a part of town where panhandling has been on the rise. Scott? Well, Tom, here's the issue. So. It's First Amendment protected. I can stand out here with a sign on the side of the road. There's nothing that anyone can do about that. It's totally legal. But if I get to the point of blocking a vehicle or coming up and getting aggressive in your window, there's complaints that some panhandlers are utilizing children in unsafe ways. Drivers over the past couple years say panhandlers have started flooding local intersections across the city. Lately, it's like you'll see someone standing right on that little intersection there, and then a little a kid will come and knock on your window. They'll come uh, and knock on your window? Yeah, and it's just really scary. A child's going to get hurt there. Ramona Rood says she sees them regularly when she drives through Mandarin and showed up at a community meeting today convened by City Councilman Al Ferrero. Ferrero says a big concern is children being used to panhandle. One of the things we were concerned with is making sure that law-abiding citizens aren't going to be put in a situation where they run over a child or, or somebody, you know, knocking out their window. So Ferrero, who's also running for mayor, has convened JSO, the Department of Transportation, and other agencies to do things like put more no trespassing signs on state highways. He's also imploring drivers not to give money to panhandlers. Give to uh, uh, somebody who can help these folks because if they have a drug addiction and you're just giving them money, they're going to go get drugs. If it's an alcohol addiction, they're going to be getting uh, uh, alcohol. But some are concerned about this push. Jeff Gray says panhandlers could be targeted, which is unconstitutional if they don't violate a law. I've been friends with homeless people that I help out where I live in St. Augustine. And uh, they tell me about how poorly they're treated, how often they're arrested, uh, unlawfully arrested basically on public property for a constitutionally protected right. So JSO says this is a difficult thing to enforce because, as he said, constitutionally protected to stand out here like this. But if you are obstructing traffic, getting aggressive, that's where police can get in. Also, if you see like a child out in a median in an unsafe fashion, JSO also saying you should call police in that case as well. We're live in Mandarin. Scott Johnson, Channel 4, the local station. Scott, thank you. Many of our News 4 Jax insiders have been weighing in on this story on News4Jax.com. I didn't throw it, writes. These people are a public nuisance and a danger to themselves and others darting in and out of traffic. There are jobs everywhere for people that want work. Extremely Anonymous said, why do we, why do we not do something about the murder rate in Duval instead? That seems a more pressing issue to me than people annoying me by begging as I go about town. Aggravating as it can be at times, there are agencies and organizations that are supposed to help the homeless start there. And Stay Calm wrote, many people have good hearts and want to help. They mean well, but as long as people continue to hand them money, they are certainly going to keep asking for it. If you're not a News for Jax insider, it's free to sign up. Just need an email address. Go to newsforjax.com insider to register.